Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I am here to do my December book hauls. I wanted to start off this video by saying uh, I hope you guys all had a very Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday season. I hope you guys got to spend plenty of time with your family and friends and got a, great, a lot of great books while you are at it. I had a very happy season myself, but I hope the same for you guys. So I have a total of nine books to talk about today, so I'm going to jump right in and get started. So the first book I got, this was one I actually got for Christmas, and that is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the original screenplay by J.K. Rowling. And this is the original screenplay to the movie that came out last year. I loved the movie when it came out, and I was very excited to see that, and I think they did a very great job with it. So when I heard this book was coming out, I was more than happy to grab it whenever I could. And this is actually the only Harry Potter book I don't own in either hardcover or paperback. So I'm excited to read this book and dive back into the world of Fantastic Beasts very, very soon. The next two books were both sent to me for review by the publishers. So the first one of those is Happy Land, a fairy tale in two parts by Tess McKinnon. I apologize if I say this author's name wrong. But this is a, I believe it's a middle grade novel that is a fairy tale story. And it's kind of giving me Alice in Wonderland vibes from the synopsis. I'm just going to read the back of it because it's kind of hard to explain. This is actually, I believe, a section from the book itself. It says, would you like to go, like, excuse me, would you like to court me in ha to Happy Land, Prince Gobbly Dock? As Lily Marshmallow therein, the journey begins to ha find Happy Land. Follow him as he tries to define happiness with a little help from his friends. Big wig, sophisticated pig, Brutus, I'm going to say this name wrong, Boo Dolius, a Corn Cornelius Ward book. A book for a head English gentleman, Prince Globby Duke, duels, losses his, loses his lady love, regains his original name, and gains... A friendship that will last for forever. Will they make it to Happy Land? I guess we'll have to find out. I love this cover. Like, that is so pretty. So I'm very excited to dive into this. And the next book I have to talk about is one that I was sent to you from the wonderful people over at HMH. And that is The Dark Market. And this is by Jonathan Moore. I worked with HMH a couple of months ago to read that book called The Dark Net, and I really liked this book, so then they contacted me about reading this one, which I guess has a somewhat similar premise to The Dark Net. I said yes. So this is an adult psychological thriller that follows a man who is a witness to a murder of a dead man that was covered in unknown substance that was eating through his skin. That's literally all I know, and I am very, very intrigued, so I'm so excited to dive into this in the new year. And this comes out on January 16th. This is a finished copy. And the next book I bought for myself, and that is Forest of a Thousand Lanterns, and this is by Julie C. Dow. When I heard about this book for the first time, I was so excited because this is an East Asian retelling of the Evil Queen fairy tale. Now, if you guys have been following my channel for a while, especially within the last month and a half or so, you know, I started writing an Evil Queen retelling myself for NaNoWriMo last month, and at this point, quick update, I am almost done writing it. You guys will see that in next week's vlog. But everybody's been raving about this, and especially because it's got that East, East Asian retelling vibe, so I am very excited about that. That's literally all I need to know is East Asian retelling of the Eva Queen. I'm sold. The next one is a book that I wanted to give away and you guys will see in a second you might be a little shocked about this and that is Renegades by Marissa Meyer. Now you guys know that I have not been the biggest fan of Marissa Meyer's books since I started my channel. But I entered a giveaway that was hosted by Sophie over at All Things Equilateral. I will link her channel down below. Go check her out. And I decided, oh, why not? So I picked this one up, or I won it, surprisingly. And this is actually not a retelling from Marissa Meyer, which is what she is known for. She's the author of the Luna Chronicles series, as well as Heartless, which is an Alice in Wonderland retelling. But this has to do with superheroes, so... Very intriguing, and I'm definitely excited to check that out. So hopefully I will like it, because I'm giving Marissa Meyer one last chance before I decide she's not the author for me. The next one was one of my most anticipated releases of this year, and that is War Cross by Marie Lu. I picked this up at the library a couple months ago, but never got to it, so I asked for it for Christmas. 
and I got it and I'm so so excited to finally read this. So this is Marie Lu's science fiction novel. This takes place in a near futuristic world. It follows our main character Amiga who is a bounty hunter and in this world there is this game called War Cross which is kind of a virtual reality game that's been you know the huge buzz of the world at this time. And Amika accidentally uh, glitches herself into the game, the world championship of the game, and the uh, creator of this game uh, hires her to track down the people who are like illegally gambling on the game. And it all takes off from there. I believe this is going to be the first book in a duology, so that's really cool. And I, again, I really, really like this cover. And also underneath the dust jacket, look at that pretty blue. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So, oh, can't wait to read it cannot wait and the last three books are all part of the same series I guess you could say and those are the illustrated versions of the first three Harry Potter books yep I got them so I'm gonna just show them in order so the first one is the newest one that is the prisoner of Azkaban then we have the chamber of secrets and last but not least the first book in the series is the sorcerer's stone I got this from my cousin as a Secret Santa gift, so thank you so much to my cousin for giving me these books. I am so excited to read them. Oh my gosh, they're so, so pretty. Let me show you guys just an example of the artwork in here. Give me a look at this. That's so, so well done. And these are illustrated by Jim K, I believe. Yes. So I'm so, so excited. So I will be reading these in the new year, definitely. So I'm so and that is all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have uh, Sophie's channel linked down below. If you guys are interested in following her, go check her out. She's really, really great. I'll also have all my social media links linked down below. So those include my Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, and blog. Again, those are always linked down below. And with all that being said, we guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching me. Bye.